Okay, we're out here again in a heavy industrial zone for uh, urban dog powered sports. We've got Dennis here and he's going to show us his bike joring uh, setup. And the nice thing about both the setups that you're going to see is that although they're different, both of them were easy to make, um, super cheap, and highly effective. Right, Dennis? Very good. Yes, all you do is go to Hardware Store, get a PCP pipe, cut it to the size that you like on your. The main thing you want to look at is the tire clearance. Tire clearance. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's a lot enough out there. Take your bungee cord. So you cord. want it to be out past the tire a little bit. Correct. Got it. Okay. Once it's up fast enough, take some duct tape. I like duct tape. Some people use screws or bolts, whatever. Something that's fast and that's easy. 101 class, we have our bungee cord plus our extending lead. All we do, Which all we I learn how to make those in the uh, dog lines ropes uh, uh, video. Correct. Okay. All I do is just pass it through to the other end, grab it. This is just a simple latch cable collar. Collar. Attach it to the main frame of the bike, like so. Attach this to the hook, pull it through. Now I have a secure connection. This will go to the dog. Super, super. And so uh, Dennis really likes to bike jar with his dog, Rose. All right, and then we have Musher Joe here, and he and Gabe uh, are gonna go out and do some bike jarring. He's gonna show us his setup real quick. All right, how's it work, Musher Joe? Real, real simple. Basically, I got a swimming noodle with a real small piece of PVC pipe that's fed back through it. I've got a piece of rope that's fed through that with a clip so you can take it off easy. And then I've got another rope that's tied on to the top of the noodle that basically holds this stationary over the front tire. So once again, this rope doesn't get caught up in your tire. Right, and the key is you always want to make, is my, correct me if I'm wrong, but you always want to make sure that your system is set up to the frame of the bike, right? right. You always want to not, go to the frame of the bike and not the not handlebars, handlebars. Because if the dogs go off and they turn your squirrel. hand, they see a squirrel, they'll take off after that and you'll go down so this when is your handlebars are safe switch. system. This is a safe system and I've been using it for a couple of years and I've even won a couple of races with it. So, so that, that certainly does speak for itself. And then those ropes that you make uh, by looking at our uh, ropes, lines and leashes video, here it is, the bungee. And then we're going to go down to Gabe's lines that get attached to his harness. Right, Gabe? We're going to say, hey, Gabe. Hi. And... Uh, he like, does he like the bike chore? Oh, Gabe loves the bike chore. Let's see. All right, Gabe, are we ready? Oh, line up. You ready? Look ahead and we hike, hike, hike. Let's go. Hike, hike, hike. How fun does that look, right in the city? Right? All right, we go G. We go G. G, G. Good, G. And she is right for anybody who's starting out. And they're off. Bye, Musher Joe. How fun is that? Dog powered sports. Yoo hoo!